know what I, you know what I'm thinking of today? What? That's been on my mind on the way here. Most Love never knew what I was missing, but I knew as we start kissing, I found love. Who remember? Who remembers the throwback, Keisha Cole? That was it. I pulled my whole heart out in middle school when that song came. Elementary, well, I don't know. Around that time, the school, mm -hmm. I was heartbroken by whoever mm -hmm. for whatever when that song came out, and I felt her emotions. Mm -hmm. Greetings, Earthlings. We're back. How are y'all? We on time. We are at home. We're at home. Can <laughs> we are at home. We're actually at Ivy's place. Um, so the background is very familiar because we're we home. home. Okay. Um, now this week is going to be like a different story. Well, I guess next, next weekend week. is going to be a different story. Because we're going to be in New Orleans. Remember the time that I hated New Orleans? Mm -hmm. There was a time that I hated. I hated New I just had a really bad experience there and I couldn't understand anything that the people were saying. <laughs> and and so I, I just didn't enjoy it. And the Popeyes, I would say it's better out there, even though I hate Popeyes. Um they chicken bigger. Yeah, the Let's Popeyes not. been skimping on the chicken. Popeyes is skimpy. I don't I I'm, <laughs> I'm not a fan of Popeyes. I've tried yeah. and I know that that's like a really popular thing, especially with black people. Like we love some good spicy mm -hmm. fried chicken, but they just not all that. And I'll, and I'll tell them to her face. I don't know who she is yeah, on T.I. Irene or whoever she <laughs> be on the commercials. But all, all them commercials, that's false advertisement. Yeah, you get the chicken and it's it's real small. You might as well go to church. I might as well go to Wingstop. I would, in fact, oh, get little wingettes. <laughs> that's what it feels like. Um, so, last week we talked about um, the post-college stress disorder, PCSD. Well, we wanted to make this a little, a little series. Now, I know we started at the end. So, so we just going to go backwards. Yeah, we're just going to work mm -hmm. our way backwards. So, we in the middle, part two of PCSD. I have to, like, pause before I say PCSD. Because, because you have to get it together in your Right, mind. and yeah, all the letters, letters are out. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> PC, <carry> right. one. <laughs> After two, <laughs> round it up. Um, so, we wanted to talk about just being in the middle of college. We feel like this is going to be a little short video, a little short video. Y'all know the Espanola. Um, especially because some muscles are calling my name. Oh, you going to get them? Are we not? Are you, you wasn't coming? We wasn't? I thought you wasn't because you had... Oh, we going? We going. I didn't know what you talking about. Raise your... Yeah. Well, oh, oh you, that pepped you up a little bit. Yeah, so... Look, fat girl special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you talk food, you talk in our language. Um, so yeah, we I haven't had these muscles in how long you've heard me. Yeah. Um, there's a place over here by where I live. We talked they, about it, Bear Bay. Y'all know about it. With the oyster moistered in the oyster. They got the moist oysters there. And they just have really fresh seafood. Ooh, I thought I didn't so know we good. were going because I thought you had Well, yeah, but that's at four. Oh. So And I've also baked you know. some ribs and so when she came in it just smelled like What did it's, cooked meat. I don't oh, know. Oh, cooked meat. I'm always trying to smell meat that's cooked. I don't know what that is. I don't know. It just, it literally just comes out. That's like a Tourette syndrome thing. Like, it just, that, that happens. Um, yeah, the ribs. <laughs> the ribs are on point. Do you hear me? That's the only reason I came to record. But because she she banging out the ribs and she banged out ribs like last week. So if you want to play five dollars, get you two sides, two ribs, hot water cornbread. You think you can whip that up? If people trying to pay whip for it the up plates, for the plates, can... now you got to drive kind of far to get it, but it's worth it. <laughs> I know because here I am and I had the ribs. So this is gonna be a really short video because we're trying to go eat because <clears throat> it's about that time mm -hmm. and we fat and it's muscles. And if That's you like nasty seafood like that, raise your hand because, you know, the fried fish, fried shrimp, that ain't that ain't real. No. I mean, it's yeah. seafood, yes. But when it's but we eat I like food. the seafood from the sea. I guess fish is in the sea too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And mussels are really not in the sea. They're like on, on the, the wall. wall. So we, we like shit the on the wall. <laughs> 
oyster. Okay, so um, since we're moving backwards today, we are going to talk about just what it's like kind of being in that middle Gucci part of college. The who? The Gucci part. Um, the, just the, the, the little the pinch. Yeah, right, the right. The little, the little um, good. Just really close to the end, but you're not quite there yet. You're kind of out of the, you know, the beginning part, which next week we'll talk about, um, you know, just some tips about first going to college. Or first right, and what to so. expect, because I'm sure what y'all been told is all lies. It's a lie. Lies. Lie. College is great, but I mean, it ain't like all oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> so what's our first tip? Oh, our first tip <laughs> is food. We have to put food first because we like food. Yeah. Um, and we knew what it was like in college to have that food famine when yeah. like all your friends broke food and you eat a lot of fast food in college, but you don't have money for fast You're food. You're scraping up chains, trying to go to get the 99 <clears throat> cent Jack in the Box time. Hey, off. and that's when uh, McDon you know, McDonald's had that. 20 piece nugget for like five dollars, mm -hmm. and I would pull up. Can I get the 20, please? Please, with two sauces because you know they charge you for extra, so you can only dip your 20 sauces in two and your 20 nuggets in two sauces. <laughs> but, anyways, um, and so we had to kind of come together with our group of friends and work out how we, how we was gonna eat. Um, because there's not an abundance of food and for us, we lived off campus. So right. this video may be geared towards like those people too that live off campus. Cause what you have to live on, well for us, we had to live on campus for, for freshman two, year. Two years we had to do. Oh, okay. When I, I think they I changed came, it. Right. It because my sophomore year, my friends and I was like, we, we can bounce. So we moved into our own apartment, um, and had to like fend for food ourselves. And we had a few dining hall check-in things but when you live off campus you yeah. don't get as many as you do when you live on campus yeah and that um, can be expensive you know between right. living on campus and having a meal plan and then if you're already eating off campus even when you have a meal plan we went to a smaller university so we really didn't have like a we had a food court which was like a cafeteria and right. then they had chick-fil-a but everything outside like there was nothing else that was really on campus so right we, we had were to leaving leave campus to go to eat anyway right um and so you know, that can be really expensive, when, you, especially if you're taking out loans or if your parents are using, a, you know, a savings or something to pay for that. You you know, we went to a cheaper college because it was just right. smaller. But, right. you know, if you're at a larger university, that can... It can rack, rack up. up, yeah. So, um, <laughs> we just had a game plan. We applied for food stamps. Yeah. Food stamps saved us. And don't be ashamed because there is oh, a yeah. stigma around, you know, government assistance. The assistance is for you. And you're it's for college. assistance. Yeah. And you're in college, you know, you may be working part time. You may not be able to work at all if you're an athlete or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, that's what it's there for, to assist you. You get financial aid, of course. You really ain't managing your money well. Let's just be Let's honest. just be clear. <laughs> Especially um, like the, if you first yeah. generation black and you got like six thousand dollars that these people just and gave you've never you, seen that type and of you've money never, before. Yeah. Even though it's not a lot of money, if you've never seen more than a couple of hundred dollars, you get that type of money. And, and it's like, oh, we balling, right? And then it goes out fast. Yeah, and so then you, you know, it's October, and it's like, damn, really well, you ain't got money. no money, and you hungry because at first when you got that money, you balled out, oh, you, you went out, out to day. eat. Oh. We would count down to the minute that yeah, our refund yeah. check was in our bank accounts, which is pitiful now when you think about it. But that's just the reality of what it was when we were in school, and you didn't even get a refund. Until I was a senior. Yeah. So we just had to get together who's going to have a meal where. Eventually, her and our um, sorority sister, Red, Moved lived off campus. campus. And so, every by that time, all of our friends was living off campus. You kind of had your own place, splitting mm -hmm. bills, and we would just rotate meals. Houses. Some, yeah, and be and just have or have potlucks mm -hmm. where somebody would bring something. Sorry if I'm spitting on you. I see like spit flying at my mouth. You know, is your knee moist? It is. I'm sorry. <clears throat> yeah, you mouth my baby, big baby. It it was, <laughs> I'm over <laughs> trying to catch the drool that's coming down because I'm ready for these muscles. But um, and so mm -hmm. that that's that's our whole experience with food. Um, something else should we mention the churches yeah. and stuff? I mean, you uh, <laughs> said it, so um, there it is. Things around your, you know, around your school. We had a lot of um, religious organizations, churches that would rotate days of the mm -hmm. week that they would do lunches. Um, if there's any type of event going on, even if you don't want to go, usually they would offer like pizza. Pizza. I had so much pizza. College students, you gonna turn into a pizza? Yeah, cause it's cheap. It's cheap in the Domino's pizza, yeah. and it was right across the street from my school. Mm -hmm. We had pizza, and they would get so many pizzas that then you could take a whole pizza home. Oh, that was the bee's knees right there. And speaking of taking food home, that leads us into 
Your um, house. Yeah. You need Your a house. house. <laughs> um, like we mentioned, it can get expensive living on campus. If that's something that you can do, you're on a scholarship or something like that, right, that's great. Right. But if it is really eating eating up the bill for your college, you may want to look at moving off campus, moving with your friends. Um, you know, and that way you can split bills. I lived so me and Red lived together for a year. A year. And then Sean and I lived together for mm -hmm. two years. And anybody who lived with me always has a meal because I am a cook. So any Anytime anybody lived with me, you never had to worry about food because I was going to script scrape it together and we was going right. to some type of meal, meal. and invite everybody mm -hmm. over to your place. And um, when you can roommate with someone, that is trustworthy. Yeah. <laughs> I We get it. We moved into a house eventually, like my friends and I, like we had a whole house. And it's like, ooh, we can invite people over and we can have parties and stuff. Keep in mind that that runs up your electricity bill. Yeah. And your water bill. And you got to clean up after they nasty ass and everybody know college students is nasty. <laughs> okay? Um, but that's a part of the process. You learn those things when you move in with a person. Um, yeah. You know, especially if you're very particular. Like you. I Particularized. I don't, Particular. I don't think that's... Right. You don't think... You don't think what? Don't particular. Think. What you don't think? Right. That you that particular? Because you right, are. Right, right. I don't think I'm that particular. But, you know... I'm not high maintenance. I just like expensive things. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but moving in with your friends could be a really good way. And we, in the college towns, rent may be cheaper. I know. Oh, yeah. You know, our first yeah. apartment was $800. The second one we moved into was $700 a month. Yeah. Um, college living is cheap. Give you that up. Right. Um, and you split everything. You probably spend like $400 a month. Mm -hmm. Four or five hundred dollars a month on bills, and that's with everything. And of course, how technology is now, you don't need number internet. Internet, we didn't have any cable, we had internet. Internet, <laughs> that's it. And if you don't have any of that, go to campus, they right. have a whole library. Library, go to the library and use their free internet. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that may be something to look at and you know when you think about the summers um, sometimes you know the aid that you get for the summers again if you are using aid may not be enough and then you have to look at your friends and be like can I stay with you you yeah the stay with mm -hmm. you that that's a good friend you know and I stayed rent free. I was I had no plans. Anybody who ever stayed with us was rent free. Of helping. <laughs> I know, but it's one of those things like you don't even think of offering rent. It's just like can I just crash with you for a little bit? I think at one point we had three people staying with us when it was me and Sean. Yeah. Because it was you, Jazz, and then Nick was staying with us until his apartment was ready. Right. Right. So shout out to those friends that let you stay because you ain't got no and it's summer like, aid. You can find somewhere to nowhere. sleep around here. <laughs> On the couch, make a pallet. Everybody know about a pallet with a little blanket, little pillow. And, you know, you out the door the next morning anyways. You just need somewhere to lay your head. Amen. Um, and who would to think that, like, when you are in college sometimes, you homeless. Right. But no one talks about it. Right, and you homeless. If you're staying with a friend and you kind of couch hopping until There's your financial aid kicks in for the fall, you are homeless. Um, um, but no one highlights that as a reality of college it, is that you in poverty. Yeah, it's kind of like a rite of passage thing. To of, struggle. Yeah. Like oh, to not eat, to not have anywhere to sleep, barely scrape up gas. And it's like, good for you. And it's not. Like, that right. shit is a struggle. And it's hard. And sometimes it's hard for you to reach out for help because you feel like this is something that you're supposed to be doing. But nobody's really mm -hmm. talking about um, how in college, you in poverty. You poor. <laughs> Boop. Moving yeah. on. Speaking of being poor, you ain't got no money. <laughs> <laughs> where's the money? Where's the Where's the money? You ain't, it ain't here, I tell you that. And it shows hell in your pocket. Don't yeah. even look. Even if you work, um, I worked two part-time jobs for the last... Forever. Two <laughs> and a half years that I was in school. Taco Bell and... I worked at Taco... So, I, I worked the whole time I was in college. Um, I worked one... I worked for the school. Uh -huh. I did um, orientation and stuff in the summer. And then that same summer, right, I started right. working at Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. Then I worked at... Then you worked ATV. at the... Oh, yeah. And then you was right the school school. Then I worked in the diversity office. So I worked mm -hmm. both of those at the same time. And let me tell you something. Even working two jobs, you don't have any money. You still don't have any money. <laughs> um, you know, I was and I don't know where it goes. 
Yeah, me neither. I was really fortunate to work two jobs that were really flexible. Mm -hmm. um, my on-campus job, I would like Fridays, I would work until like 1130. Then I would get oh, off, yes, have to be I at my next job that. by 12. Um, good thing we live in a small town. <coughs> and I would be there 12 Phew. to 6. Mm -hmm. And then I would work 6 a.m. to 1 Saturdays and Sundays. Um, wow. You was working. And you know... At that age and at that stage this that you are you in college, yeah, you working. You going to know what the taste of the real world tastes like when you graduate because you already are doing what you're going to be doing for the rest of your damn life until you retire <laughs> or find a sugar daddy. Still open for that. Or just that, an old billionaire that's just near the end and it's like, it's okay, baby. It's okay. <laughs> Lay your brittle head on my shoulder. <laughs> Where's the money? Where's the where's the money? That's or, it. Or you know, just make it on your own. Weekend. But you know that like sugar babies and stuff that is popular That's a in real college. Thing. Yeah, yeah. And I I wish there was. Like, I wish we would have thought of that <laughs> while we was in college instead of working yeah. all the time. Well, you did think of being a stripper there one time. I did. Um, you know, a it plus, gets tight. A plus size stripper. We had a real conversation, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> she found a club. <laughs> Look at the weight requirements and was like oh i could do that just for a little extra money that's it so when you think about stripping we even had ideas of selling fish plates yep you gotta use the skills you got to get the get the money you need i don't know what else to fish do. plates doing weave a braids mm -hmm. in the same house we'll even watch your kid one Kid. One kid, yeah. We, yeah. You we, can keep your money if it's more than one. <laughs> uh, we had like plans on how to make more money yeah. to be more financially stable. And at this stable. time, Uber wow. wasn't popping. It was not because popping. now you can Now you can, now you can Uber, live, mm -hmm. Amazon delivery and right. stuff. Like it's so many little side gigs that what, four to five years ago wasn't even right, a thing. Option. Isn't that amazing? And so it's like you out of money, you out of You money. out of money. And especially in a small town like us, there, there aren't many avenues to to make right, unless money. you're trying to leave, and then you gotta have gas to leave. Unless you're trying to be a drug dealer, and we don't. And it's a small that. town, so you're gonna get caught. So you're gonna get caught. So that's no fun. <laughs> <laughs> so it ain't fun if you get caught. Um, so so that's the whole thing with the money, and we split everything. Oh, we still split. Everything. Still split everything because we still are focused on money. Money is something that is gonna always mm -hmm. be one of those things in your life and so learn now in college how to manage your money because you're only gonna oh who sorry Migos trying to join in uh because they said where's the money where's the where's the i don't think that was me i think it was they rick were... flair because he said rick flair Ooh, on the tip something yeah but that's all said he with the Migos, ain't he? but is right, it not rick is... flair? it was rick flair the producer oh they tell me rick flair the wrestler We'll Google it. Uh, we ain't gonna argue on camera because you know we're trying to keep these little mini sods right. So you ain't gonna you ain't gonna see us get so deep into this. Um, but yeah, so just <clears throat> wrapping up the money part. Um, do what you can to get money, not illegally, but um, you know, not again, no. use your community, you know, and really learn how to budget your money because money isn't infinite. Um, and work. Right. I think working is a good experience if you can work on campus, if you're work study, and if you are doing work study, you automatically qualify. For yes, you things. automatically qualify. For food stamps and get you your stamps right there. Go get, get your, your stamps um because you know that that 15 20 30 50 pounds you gain in college is real life start cooking your meals start cooking your um, meals because once you graduate you are presumably gonna live by yourself so and you, you don't know. get fat that's what happened um, to us yeah. That's why we like trying to lose weight and stuff because we graduate and it's like bloop bloop. I mean, just <laughs> bloop bloop, just double in size. I don't know what happened. Um, yeah, Good but it is really beneficial to you know to learn how to cook, even if you only know how to make two or three things. My roommate Spaghetti. Sean literally made ramen, eggs, and, and put that pizza on that in that oven without a uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember the food items. He take that whole tortilla's piece and just put it in the oven. On, on nothing. With, with nothing, just and on And then when the it oven. smell like it's burning, you smell something burning. <laughs> it's like, yeah, nigga, because your pizza done fell through the bars. Everybody know tortillas cheap ass pizza. I don't know. Because that, that crust was made out of concrete. <laughs> And when we had food stamps, we would, like, share our food stamps with our friends. And it's like, hey, you know, pick up a pack of chicken. Two you packs of chicken. Some nice. And, you know, college students live off cereal. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. ramen. Love a good big bowl of cereal. A big bowl. Big, them lucky charms. And sit you, put you in that sugar coma. 
<laughs> That's all you need. Like a five dollar box of cereal, a bowl, and some meal. You live in life. And you look, I kind of chopped your neck off in a little bit. Okay, well, that's it. <laughs> we told you we trying to go eat quick. Put the ducats in. Um, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Mm -hmm. Um, hit hit the people with the quotes because the muscles is weight. Muscles is weight. You can be happy without everything going your way. And we'll see y'all next week. Bye. Mm -hmm.